With three students in the program, you didn't think we'd only have one coach, did you? Let me introduce you to the coach with the deepest voice in the Overwatch scene, Forgiving. So my name is Forgiving. I'm 22 years old and I am a off tank player that uh, peaked at 4600 during GOAT's meta actually. For me, my Overwatch journey came from console actually. I started playing console Overwatch back in season, like before season one was a thing, back when it was only quick play. I was on Twitch one day, saw Lyric playing the game, saw the character Tracer with two machine guns blinking around. It was very hectic and I was like, oh, that looks really fun. We ordered the game, been playing since day one. And eventually I was like, ooh, wait, Reaper's ult is actually really cool. You can get like 6Ks all the time because at the time everyone was playing like solo heal Lucio or double Lucio, if anything, and like double Winston, double Tracer. And I was like, Reaper's really good against this. This is actually fun. I did my placements right on day one when season one started on console. I placed at 74 SR, which was very well into top 500 if top 500 was out at the time. I actually climbed to the rank of 84 during season one on Xbox, which was number one according to a website at the time because there was no actual top 500 leaderboard back in season one. Eventually, due to streaming, I ended up having a few people that would try to get in my games and try to lose. Purposely, I had accounts named like Snipe Forgiving that would pick May get into my games, wall me off, try to get me killed, make me lose the game. So I was like, enough with this. I'm gonna go to PC and try to compete. First season on PC, I actually hit 4,400 rating playing Roadhog and Ana and Soldier. So I was trying to flex to every single role. Just been grinding PC Overwatch since then. I haven't really played on too many teams. I did play on a popular team called Goats at one time. Besides that, just been streaming and consistently like 4.5, 4.6K on off tank slash main tank primarily and then around like 4.4K on DPS playing primarily Reaper, Hanzo, and Tracer. So for me, Overwatch is unique just with all the characters because I play a lot of different characters in the game. And I can play one character for one day and then I'll be bored with that character next day. Actually, today's a Hanzo day is kind of how it goes for me. And just there's a lot of variety with the gameplay. There's a lot of different play styles with the characters like you know, Reaper, you can play hard flanker Reaper, you can play more with the front line, and depending on what the other team is playing, you kind of adapt your play style. And being able to adapt all the time is really fun to me. Okay, in all seriousness, I started coaching actually because when I played ranked, I'd always like point out like flaws to my chat, like, oh, the honor was out of position here when I like killed him even. So I was just like, wait, I kind of understand a lot about the game and a lot of people would always talk to me about like, wait, you're really smart. You should like, do you do coaching? And everyone kind of asked me if I'd coach them. I was like, I guess I'll try it out. And then people ended up liking it and more people kept asking and I just kept doing it then. So my coaching style is very, very direct. I kind of give it to people how it is. If they make a mistake, I tell them the mistake right away. If I feel like we've kind of covered that mistake, I ask them a question involving that being like, did you do wrong there? And I'm looking for them to answer with something that we already covered in the session. I'm trying to really, really push people to learn from their mistakes and taking that type of angle when I coach them. I've actually dealt with uh, quite a few long-term students, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I've coached some bronze players long-term up to diamond actually and I've actually coached a plot player to 4,600. I actually really enjoy watching someone progress and that's what I'm kind of in it for when it comes to coaching. I like seeing people improve and I'm in it for the long haul. So I hope we can get uh, our students really high up. Weirdly enough, I don't actually have too many life experiences. I've been kind of a very sheltered nerd that played a lot of video games and coding on the side and everything. And my only job I've ever worked outside of like working like on Overwatch, coaching, streaming, all that good stuff was actually at Chipotle. And I didn't speak any Spanish. It was very awkward working there since I speak German and no Spanish at all. And I lived in uh, San Diego at the time. So everyone speaks Spanish there. A word of advice for all the other coaches. Go easy on me. I'm kind of new to coaching still at this point. I've been kind of building up my rep as a coach and I feel like a lot of people do enjoy what I'm doing. But I still got a lot to learn. And I'm looking forward to coaching alongside you guys. And to all the students, you're ready to get roasted. That's just honestly, a lot of coaching comes down to like if feeling like you're being attacked by someone by them constantly like trying to tell you what to do and like kind of it puts you down in a way and just be strong. As long as you are very open minded throughout coaching sessions, you're going to climb. Promise you that.